Hey, what's cracker lacking YouTube? It's Tim Witt with a little bit of a let's test today. So, I've got two microphones here. If you've ever worked in voiceover or sound design or field recordings or film sound, uh, chances are you've come across one of these guys. That's the Sennheiser MKH416 industry standard shotgun mic, very directional, sounds very nice. So, that's a mono microphone. The mid side version, where you can actually get it in stereo, which is something I've just upgraded to, so I thought I'd do this test, uh, is the MKH418S. So what this actually does is, is it's got your standard uh, capsule inside, like the 416, except that it has a second capsule in there with a figure eight polar pattern that you then run a second line out of and you get uh, your mid side. And so I was reading online about the differences between them and there's a little bit of speculation about whether it was the same capsule in the 416 as is in the 418. So seeing as I'm in this nice studio, I thought I'd take the opportunity to give a side-by-side -side test with like a pretty sterile recording environment and clean preamps and yeah, both microphones. So let's put them side by side and let's test to see if there's actually any difference in the capsules between the 416 and the 418. So the preamp we're using today is the RME Octomic. Let's go down the bottom here. Very clean, very neutral. So channels one and two. One is going to be the 416, two will be the 418. Both of them is set to 12 o'clock here, running into Pro Tools at 24 bits and 48k. Okay, so in the vocal booth, we've got both mics set up behind a pop filter. We've got the capsules lined up pretty close there. We've got the 418 and then the 416 on the opposite side there. We'll talk into them. And then we should be able to get a nice comparison as to which one sounds different, if either. <laughs> now, I rock a house party at the drop of a hat. Yeah, I beat a bite it down with an aluminum bat. A lot of people, they'd be jonesing just to hear me rock the mic. They'll be staring at the radio, staying up all night. So like a pimp, I'm pimping. I got a boat to eat shrimping. Nothing wrong with my leg, just b-boy limping. Whoop whoop is my disco call. MCA. Ha ha, I'm getting rope, y'all. Like eating burgers or chicken, or you'll be picking your nose. I'm on time, homie, that's how it goes. My D, yeah, with your bad self running things. What's up with your bad breath, onion rings? We've got our recorded audio there. Up the top is the 416, down here is the 418. I apologize for the Hoysler effect that I'm getting from filming the screen. I don't have screen flow or anything on this computer. So it's a little bit rough and ready, but you can see the results. So 416 up now the top. I rock a house party at the drop of a hat. Whoops. Yeah. That's the 418. Now I rock a house party at the drop of a hat. Yeah. I beat a bite it down with an aluminum bat. A lot of people they'd be jonesing just to hear me rock the mic. So they'd be staring at the radio, staying up all night. So it's very, very similar in sound. Some tests we can do. We'll start off by playing them at the same time. I've got the phase inverted here. So there's... They'll be staring at the radio, staying up all night. Great. So like a pimp... That's with the 418 inverted. So through the phase cancellation, you'll only be able to hear the differences between the two microphones. So I've, as you can see, I've tested it at different distances. Face so close, mid, far, like real far. Like eating burgers. Or and then my D, yeah. Extremely close, just to see if there are actually going to be any differences um, due to different distance. And so far, there's nothing. And then my D, there's a tiny little bit there, which could even come from just the reflections of having the two microphones side by side. Now, if I pan both microphones, one microphone left and one right, oh, I'm getting rope, y'all. You'll see down the here. I bust and the rhymes that I write. 
I'll be busting routines and rhymes all night. That will actually show you show the phase difference between the two. If it was right out of phase, uh, I'm getting right like this, you will see that the routines I bust and the rhymes that I write, the lines are going busting. straight left and right. And if everything was completely in mono, uh, it would be a straight line up here. Uh, I'm getting right, y'all. So you can see routines there's just a I tiny bit of difference the between the two. I'll be busting routines and rhymes all night. But nothing major. So. Uh, So I think it's fairly safe to say that the capsules are either identical or negligibly close together in both the 416 and the 418. So there you have it. After a quick costume change, which is caused by about a year's difference between recording the start and then the end of this video, we've ascertained that the 416 and the 418, the capsules, I'd say um, not any different. So if you have the 418 and you want it for a mono, never fear that you're going to get inferior result results than the 416. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please shop around my channel for more interesting videos. If there's a subscribe button below this video, please click it. I'm on my way to 1,000 videos, 1,000 subscribers, so I can uh, monetize my videos and I can actually start getting paid for some of this. <sighs> Thanks for joining me. My name's Tim Witt. Have a good one.